fire away. TJ, you achieved the Steelers record for sacks. What does this accomplishment mean to you? And to do it by breaking James Harrison's record, somebody that's had a really high prestigious career in this franchise. <clears throat> yeah, it's, I mean, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't special. Um, just like anything, it, it, has, it hasn't set in. I don't know if I'm going to I have time to really sit down and process what just happened tonight. But uh, there's so many people along the way that helped me get to where I am. Um, it's no, I can't stand the individual awards of football because it was just, I mean, Debo himself helped me so much my rookie year. He didn't have to. Um, no one asked him to, but he wanted to help me, and I appreciate him for that. Um, so many of my teammates, uh, coaches, mentors, my brothers, um, my wife's support, my parents. I mean, there's just so many people that go into it that uh, it's not myself out there making the plays. I mean, it's just I can't take all the credit. TJ, how were you guys able to kind of gut through this game and come out with a win? <sighs> Splash. That's what we talk about is creating splashes of defense. I mean, Alex Heisman played his absolute tail off tonight. Um, guys inside got incredible pressure. Larry O had a great game. Um, I just think we've really fed off the crowd, and I still think we can do a better job of, of executing in those moments when the crowd is going absolutely bananas like they were tonight. But uh, it wasn't pretty, um, but a win is a win. TJ, aside from you breaking the sack record, how does it feel to, to – Please solidify the lot legacy in terms of defensive players, and uh, uh, how does that make you feel, just personal? Well, I don't know. Like I said, I, there's so much ball left to play for me that uh, I'm not going to think about anything like that until I'm, I'm done playing. I'm just trying to make as many plays as possible in as many games and um, trying to be a positive contributor for this team. TJ, regarding the uh, rush defense, Alex just spoke about some undisciplined mistakes that were still occurring there. Uh, where do you find those instances occurring the most often? Uh, the, rush the, running, the running game yeah. or pass rush? The, 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 uh, their running game, okay. the opposing team's running yeah, game. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a mix of, I mean, first and foremost is tackling. Uh, secondly, it's just not trying to do too much. And I'm sad to talk about it a lot. It's not trying to be a superhero and play out of your gap and swim out of gaps. Yeah. And um, when you do get them in situations, you just have to get them down. And credit to those guys. Um, they they were able to fight awesome tackles and get a lot of yards after contact. And that's just something that, out quick. TJ, you mentioned Alex. Can you, can you take us through that scoop and score that play? Yeah, it was, uh, we both kind of knew it was going to be played fast. It would be a fun play to watch on film. Uh, we both got wide. Uh, Alex just had a phenomenal rush. Uh, I was coming off the chip, so I had a little bit of room uh, to see the play process. And I just saw the ball come out. And uh, thankfully, I didn't dive on it. And I was able to scoop it and score it and play some bananas. And, uh, like it did all night. Incredible. TJ, yeah. where does this one rank for you and Alex as a tandem tonight? Hopefully there's many more to come. Um, I'm just so happy to be able to play with a guy that loves the game so much, and that's not taking anything away from any other guys that I play with. Everybody loves the game. But it's so cool to see his progression and his hunger. And uh, the guy has so many phenomenal passers from his he can defend the run so well that we just really feed off of each other. And uh, we're just happy when the other person makes a play. It's never a slight. Uh, I'm never upset when he makes the sack. Uh, I try to give him the football for the sack fumble because I, I, how I see it is I just was in the right place at the right time and scooped it up. But uh, Alex played phenomenal tonight. And, uh, I just want to continue to do this with him and his defense. It's like Mark said when he was asked about replacing Cam, it was kind of there's like a next generation that needs to step up. How did you see those guys kind of rise to the occasion? Live out of the sack lane, Joey has my what did you see young guys? Yeah, I thought they stepped up, and uh, it's a huge stage to step up in. I mean, it was a crazy environment Monday Night Football. The stage doesn't really get much bigger, and um, those guys have been working their tails off in uh, practice all week. Like I said, I mean, those guys were at training camp with us. We trust them. We believe in every guy in that locker room. It's just a matter of putting it on tape, and uh, it doesn't always matter if it's good or bad. It's just getting tape for those young guys and those guys that don't get a lot of snaps to be able to review. And uh, I truly feel like we're only going to as a unit, and uh, we go as they go. TJ, um, your thoughts on just, as Coach Tomlin would say, didn't blink in those final in the final portion of the fourth quarter, holding on to the lead, keeping Cleveland from being able to score. Your thoughts on just your, your, your team, your unit's resolve? Yeah, I mean, when your back's against the wall, man, you, you have two options. We, we just really want, we, we want to be a 
team that fights back, especially as a defense. We want to be a defense that determines outcomes in games. And uh, the only thing we can control is what happens when we get out there on the field. And there's going to be so much more that we can improve on. But I'm very glad with the splash that we had tonight. Um, but there's going to be a lot of stuff to correct as well. TJ Quarterback talked about pressing and feeling like they have to make a big play or something they feel like in a shootout of his comeback. But does that exist for you guys if, if the offense is struggling? Is, can you guys, is there such thing as pressing? Can you try too hard to make splash plays? Oh, uh, I mean, I think that's true to an extent. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the offense or special teams at all. I think it's just if it's a game where there's kind of a think and dunk and you get bored of uh, the redundancy of just doing your job and getting two or three yard gains, sometimes you want to make that splash when it's not necessarily the right moment to get out of your gap and make the splash. How you much were you guys there? aided by uh, what Presley did for you, making them work, in, making them work in those long yeah, fields? Yeah, he had some, some some really big time punts to be able to pin them back. And anytime you can pin them back, like I said, this environment, uh, you get them in the end zones, and it's very hard for them to operate. Um, and I mean, there's even a few instances where we can do better when we have them backed up to keep them in two or three now. You, you, know, you make this kind of impact every week. I'm gonna fuel up, and we're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna see what we can do in a week. But uh, I mean, it's all about. Like I said, this defensive performance is not always going to be one guy performing in the league level. I mean, there's going to be chips one week, there's going to be slides one week. And, uh, we just all have to do our job and the plays are there. Oh, what, what, are your, what are your impressions of uh, the right tackle, Delon Joe? Who's his first start? Yeah, I, mean, I think he's a good player. I think he's a bright future. Uh, definitely very long. Uh, I just think it's a tough night anytime you're getting chipped 90%. How much does having Last quality, quality backups that you and Alex have, how much does that help you guys? How, how fresh do they keep you? It's huge, and those guys love football. It is so cool to see them seize every single play that they get. And, uh, you know, MG is a vet, and I respect the heck out of him. He could he could be fighting for more reps, but he just, he's happy for what he gets, and he makes the most of it. And that's why I'm so happy to pay off for the night. Phenomenal teammate, Herbig. Um, you guys have seen what he's done all training camp. And uh, what he's done in the preseason, and the guys continue to get better. And uh, all of us want to eat, and we're doing it together, and it's so special. But if you have to for your position, though, I mean, of course, I mean, we can't take 100% of the snaps. TJ, obviously, guys get hurt all the time, but you don't always see players from both teams come up and shake hands away. You know, Nick Chubb got when he was on the card. Was it, what did you think of that moment? In, I mean, was it tough to see that happen? Yeah, it was tough. I mean, I, I can't watch those replays, I just heard the crowd reaction. So you can see it in his face. Uh, absolutely phenomenal player. I have so much respect for him um, as a football player. We see him twice a year for the last seven years. And uh, he's called Mr. Chubb for a reason. In our opinion. I have so much respect for him. And I hope he's all right. I hope he's Thanks, everybody. Well, Kenny and your